boys and girls, it's Mrs. Espinosa. I'm back with another Mighty Muscleman Mustang lesson. And this time we are going to learn about using the cafeteria. So remember, we gallop to success with our PBIS expectations. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. In our school family, the grown-up's job is to keep you safe, and your job is to help keep it safe. Let's learn some helpful ways to keep our mighty Muscleman Mustang family safe while eating in the cafeteria. So today, you will learn how to be a safekeeper in the cafeteria. You will learn how to walk in line and stand quietly, to look for circles or markers on the floor, to follow directions, to walk to your seat and stay seated, and to eat neatly at your assigned spot. So the first thing that happens when I go into the cafeteria is my bubble is in and I sit down at my assigned seat. I listen for my teacher to tell me where to go. I can wait at my table for my turn. I stay in my seat and I talk quietly to my friends and I always keep my mask on my face. Do you see how my friend here has his mask on? Over his nose and under his chin. If I have a lunch box, then I can take my mask off and eat. Take a look at my friends in this picture. They started eating right away. They don't need to wait. Now, when I get in line, I look for the blue circles on the floor. I walk, listen again, I walk from circle to circle. I make sure to keep my eyes forward. And remember how we did that together in our lesson in the cafeteria. I can wait my turn with a safe social distance. I keep my eyes forward and I keep my hands to myself. Notice how my friends are looking forward. They're not laying on the wall because they're looking to see the grown up who's going to remind them what they need to do next. I can follow this orange arrow. So I look down on the ground and I see, oh, that's my reminder. I can choose a milk. I can have plain milk or chocolate milk. And I reach in and get my milk from the silver cooler. After that, I turn back to my friends in the cafeteria and I can point to my choice and say what I want. Boys and girls, it's really important that you use your voice and tell us, I want pizza, please, or I want chicken nuggets, please. It's really hard to hear sometimes back there. So you need to use your big kid voice. Then once I have my tray, look what I do. I put my milk down on the tray and I put my ID card on the tray with the name part looking up. Remember the part with your name and the words, that's what Miss Tammy needs and Miss Carrie to scan your card. Then I can pick a fruit or vegetable. Remember, boys and girls, this is kindergarten. You get to do it yourself. You have to reach up and take it with your hand and put it on your tray. Then I hold my tray with two hands. Remember, those trays can be heavy with all that food on it. We don't want to drop any food. Do you see how my friends are doing that? Two hands, one on each side. Then I have to turn around and follow the blue dots again to the register where I show my lunch card and I say, thank you. Don't forget those manners, please. And thank you. Now I will walk back to my table and sit down at the same seat that was assigned to me when I came. Do you see how my friends are sitting? I will sit in my seat and I will eat my lunch. Take a look at my friends here. Remember when I'm sitting, my feet are under the table and I'm facing the table and I focus on eating my lunch. Remember boys and girls, your job in the cafeteria is to eat your lunch. I can stay seated at my assigned seat. I don't have to get up for anything. I can eat my own food. I do not touch my friend's food. And boys and girls, I do not share my food. Some people have something called allergies, boys and girls. And if I share something with them, it might give them a bellyache or a scratchy throat. So we don't share our food to keep our friends safe. 
I can eat neatly. Remember, I sit close to the table and lean over when I'm eating. Do you see how my friends are doing this on the in the picture? And all my food stays on my tray. If I have a lunchbox, I keep it near my lunchbox and I keep all my trash there. Again, watch my friends leaning over the table. That way, if the food falls, it falls on the table and not on my clothes. I can use an inside voice. I can talk to my friends who are in front of or beside me. I don't need to turn around. Mm -mm. I talk to my friends and I can talk like this. If we all talk quietly, then everyone will hear us. I stay in my seat and I raise my hand for help. If I can't open my milk or my fruit cup or something spilled, I raise my hand and I stay seated. Then I stay in my seat and wait for the grown up to come around and get my tray or bring the trash can. I know at home you might just get up and throw things out, but remember there's lots of kids. So to stay safe, we're asking that you stay in your seat and we will help you throw out your trash. When I finish eating, I put my mask right back over my face. Remember, cover from your nose to your chin. Take a look at my friends, and then I can keep talking to my friends in my quiet voice. When so, boys and girls, let's listen. Whenever I hear the bell, I know I need to be quiet and listen. Do you hear that sound? That means it's time to put my bubble in and be ready to listen. I can wait for a teacher to tell me to line up. So at this point now I'm sitting quietly, my hands are folded in, my, in, in front of me. I stop talking and I turn my voice off when I get into line. So now we're quiet so we can hear directions. I stand in line with my hands at my side and my eyes are forward so I can see where I'm going and see what the teacher wants me to do. I can walk in line with my class so I pay attention to stay with my class. I keep my eyes forward and watch my teacher. And if I have a lunchbox in my hand, boys and girls, I keep it at my side. I want to keep my friends safe. I don't want to hurt anyone by accident if I swing my lunchbox around. I keep it at my side. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed my video today. These are some rules that will help us to gallop to success. And if we follow those PBIS expectations, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Until I see you again, I'm going to put you in my head, take you to my heart, fill my heart up with love, and send all my wish wells out to you. Can't wait to see you be a safekeeper in the cafeteria.